Hi everybody, my name is Olivia Berg. I'm a communication studies student researcher. Stay tuned to the real life of research rams to see a day in my life as a student researcher here at Colorado State University. So today I have three classes, starting with professional communication. So let's head over there. Something I love about communication studies research is just how relevant it is to everyday life. I mean, how often are you talking to your roommates, your friends, your professors? It's all a part of communication studies and it has been so valuable to be able to see theories come to life. So we're trying to answer the question, how do different types of mindfulness affect a romantic conflict conversation? So we begin with doing a questionnaire and then we hook them up to all the physios, so all the heart rate monitors, sweat monitors, breathing. Uh, then we move into a breathing class. So they elect three topics that are maybe the most contentious in their relationship and then they have that conversation for about 10 minutes. The most common type of conflict that we see in couples is usually the future, finances, and household tasks. When couples practice mindfulness, we usually see that they are better at conflict management. That being they're better able to express their emotions in a way that is not harmful to their partner. They're able to be more solution and task focused. Real couples is really interesting. Getting to see all the different dynamics and personalities come out to play is super fun and really engaging. So I really enjoy that. I'm constantly working with PhD students, master's students, and faculty and staff, which can be pretty intimidating. And being an undergrad, you're gonna make mistakes, especially in research, and that can be a bit scary, but understanding that making mistakes is the best way to learn. And so even though it's hard, it's important to just accept the mistakes you made, move on and learn from them. Prioritizing school, work, and just having life as a college student can be pretty difficult, but just making sure that I stay organized and making sure that I'm just enjoying what I'm doing makes it a lot easier. Thanks for joining me for a day in my life as a student researcher. Be sure to check out CSE Research for more episodes of Real Life of Research Rams.